jacket today, but we are celebrating the last day of summer with um, some ways to get you dressed for fall. And this week, local retail owners, designers, artists, and bloggers are showing off the latest local trends. And joining us this morning is Twin Cities fashion blogger Lindsay Herzog. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Lindsay. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so it's Fashion Week MN all week, and it kicked off on Sunday. Tonight is Mittens to Fashion, but how are people celebrating all week long the Twin Cities fashion season? There are a lot of fashion events going on. Um, we have Minsta Fashion tonight, so that's going to be featuring four models walking around in different looks from different boutiques in the Twin Cities. And there's going to be a whole Instagram wall where you can take photos, and then you're going to try to caption the different outfits that the models are wearing. So um, that'll be fun. And then there's some really big prizes, like you can win a stay at the W Hotel. I don't know, sounds kind of nice. <laughs> so um, yeah, things like that. And then there's Lark Fashion Show on Friday, and there's Envision by Ignite Models on thir Saturday. A couple so of the really just, big ones. Uh, consecutive days, yes. full of fashion here in the Twin Cities, and you brought in some different pieces just to kind of get people thinking about the fall. And in mm -hmm. front of us, we have a few different items for people to think of, and you, you picked some that were kind of things that people have that might be a little bit more pricey. So let's mm -hmm. start with some of the shoes we have in front of us. Yeah, we started off with some more quality items because I believe it's nice to kind of mix in high and low items. So these are more investment pieces. This set of shoes here are by Tori Birch. They're from Pumps at the Galleria and um, a little bit more on the pricey end, but they'll last forever. They're a really quality, classy piece, and that can go with jeans. I just wore them yesterday for a photo shoot, kind of cuffed a little bit. If you look at J. Crew catalogs right now, the girls are wearing cuffed jeans, shoes like that, and then blazers a lot. And then um, right here, we also have this really great, great quality barber sweater. So turtlenecks are a huge trend this season, and um, this is a nice fresh color. You can wear it with white to kind of keep a real clean, fresh look, or go jeans. To um, That's from Melly at the Galleria. And then this dress, everyone needs a good LBD, that little black dress. This is a nice quality one um, from Kate Spade at the Galleria also. So if people are looking for deals, what would you say uh, would be good kind of mix and match pieces? Yeah, so then if you're wanting to mix and match, this next section we have here are some steals. Um, like this sweater, it's a Ralph Lauren sweater that I found at a thrift store actually for like $3. So always be on the lookout for that. I feel like the sweater section at thrift stores tends to be a good quality place to go. <laughs> Get those big bulky sweaters to wrap up in. Um, and then these jeans are from Target. I love Target as a Minnesota, you know, girl. Who and doesn't? I know, right? Um, so, and then, yeah, so those actually fit really well and have a nice expensive look because they're so tailored and fit so well. Um, and then I found this really cute little blush toned gold watch that was under 30 at Topshop. Another nice way to accessorize at a cheaper um, price range. Well, Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know you'll be back in our 6 o'clock hour. So Fashion Week MN is all week long. And to learn more about the different events, you can just go to our website. And we want to remind you that Mints to Fashion is tonight from 7 to 10. It is free. And uh, so be sure to check that out and maybe get some fashion ideas for fall. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. You might not need a jacket today, but we are celebrating the last day of summer with some ways to dress for fall. And this week, local retail owners, designers and artists and bloggers are showing off the latest local trend. And we are joined by a local blogger this morning, a Twin Cities fashion blogger, Lindsay Herzog. And Lindsay, on your blog, Ruby Girl, you have a bunch of different trends and local looks that you pick out on a weekly basis. So I know you grabbed a couple for us. If there's one or two pieces that people can take with them in the fall, what would you recommend? You know, I really like turtlenecks for the fall. So um, you can do it a lot of different ways, but this is a really nice cream barber textured sweater that I got from Melly at the Galleria. And then these shoes are a nice classic as well. So it's, it's really trendy to put on a pair of more masculine inspired shoes with maybe a cuffed jean at the bottom. So those are really nice. Tori Birch from Pumza Galleria. So Fashion Week MN started on Sunday. It runs through this Saturday and it, tonight is Minsta Fashion. But right. tonight, today we have a model with us this morning. Grace is joining us and she's showing off some fall trends. What, what is it about this fall that's maybe different than a year ago? Absolutely. Well, a big color for fall is gray. So um, she's got two elements of gray in her outfit today in the cape and then underneath in the striped shirt. So the striped shirt is from J. Crew, and then the um, cape is from ASOS. So the cape is also a huge trend for fall also. You're going to see that all over different stores and um, it's a really nice look. So she's got it layered here with a skirt, an accordion pleated skirt that's a little bit of a, uh, has a leather finish. So um, really nice touch there. 
but yeah, keep keep the grays going, keep the capes going. A few In big trends. In terms of layering, is is the cape trend one of the most popular trends that we're going to see for this fall? It is, and how convenient with our Minnesota winters to just be covered up and cozied into that. Mm -hmm. So Minnesota Fashion is tonight. Uh, tell us for someone who's maybe interested in checking out one of the events going on this yeah. week. What is Minsta Fashion and yeah. what highlights will they see? Well, Minsta Fashion is great because it's really an event for everyone. There is no charge, so you can come in and enjoy a great event. Um, there are going to be four models showcasing different pieces from local boutiques, and then you get to put a caption on each outfit. So whoever puts the best caption and title on the outfit is going to win a prize. So there's four different big prizes. One of them is a stay at the W Hotel. One of them is a Manny Steakhouse gift card. A lot of really great things, but a great way to come and mix and mingle and get a taste of fashion. And really quickly, if someone can't go tonight, what other events should they go to later this I'm week? I'm really looking forward to Envision. Ignite Models put that on every year. It's a really great event. Well, Lindsay and Grace, thank you for joining us this morning and looking great. Fashion Week MN is all week long, and we have a link on our website. Just go to WCCO.com to learn more about ways to look great this fall.